Okay, so the last thing that we have for you today during the four to five period is interview prep. Okay, so I'm sure you guys just heard from me. Um, so I'll just keep this really quick. Okay, so uh, of course you just heard that I'm gonna be a first year at Georgetown University's Walsh School of Foreign Service. Um, I am the vice president of AST and this is my fourth year teaching. Uh, regarding interviews specifically, I've interviewed for colleges, um, the Coca-Cola Scholarship and the Jefferson Scholarship. The Jefferson Scholarship, which is completely based on interviews. So I underwent three rounds of interviews. And also have been the interviewer for leadership positions in mock trial and National Honor Society. Let's read it again. Hi, I'm Tia. Um, I'm a rising junior at Howard High. Um, I'm a co-founder of the AST company with Tess, and we've been teaching here for also about four years, a little over that. Um, just some things about me. I like to cook, dance, swim, just have fun. Um, so I've been on both ends of the interview. I've both been interviewed, and I've, I interviewed all of the tutors <clears throat> that uh, came into this company to see if they're qualified. So I know like what an interviewer is looking for, um, as well as Judy does, I'm sure. And I've interviewed for some programs, like recently I did Leadership U and Youth and Philanthropy with which I both got in. So for the class outline, um, it's kind of in a three week-ish cycle. So week one through week four is technically the first part of the cycle and then week five through week seven is the second cycle but we really encourage everybody to take it for the full seven weeks so for week one it's really about introductions and getting to know the people in the class and telling them what we expect from them and what they will expect from us so you know we just made introductions uh, to you guys so it would be pretty similar to that and then also class expectations um, teaching telling them what this class outline is going to be like and how it's going to be structured. Week two, we're getting into the first uh, topic and that's going to be confidence, first impressions. So we're going to be talking all about how to make a good first impression. This includes having a good handshake um, and other ways, you know, dressing nice and what that means and what does dressing well look like. And I'd also like to add for week one, we're also going to kind of introduce um, all of these things and talk about what is an interview and why it's important. So just, it's also important to go to the first week as well. Yeah, of course. So week three, we're getting into content, another piece of content. So content, this means pre-interview prep. So what should you do before you even step into the interview room? So what should you research? Um, how much should you research? What kind of preparation should you do? Should you write notes? Should you write an entire script? So we're going to be talking about all the things that you need to do on your checklist before you, you even step through the door. And arguably, this is actually the most important part of the interview as well, because you need to have, you need, obviously, you need to be very well prepared when you're walking through the door. And then week four is our first practice interviews. So we're going to be interviewing uh, the students in this class are going to be interviewed by us. And we're, after we conduct an interview with every single person, we're going to be talking about, you know, things to improve on, things that people did well, and um, everybody's going to get individ individualized feedback. Tia, do you want to take this slide? Sure. So as we did in two and, uh, week two and three, we kind of focused on the general umbrella of confidence and then content. So we're going to do that again, but different specific subjects. So for week five, we're going to talk more about your like demeanor and just a lot more about specifics about things like, like how you should talk, how you should act while you're actually in the interview. And week six, we're going to talk about what is a personal brand, why it's important and help you develop your own personal brand. Um, which is definitely important when you are, before you step into an interview. And again, week seven, we're gonna do our last set of practice interviews and we can compare from week four in practice interviews and talk about what you improved on and things like that. Cause I'm sure you guys will definitely see a big improvement. And um, yeah, we're gonna have like a rubric and a scoring um, like method. So you could see specifically what you 
have improved on. So now we're just going to talk really briefly about what an interview is and why it's so important that it has its own class. So the interview structure is pretty self-explanatory. When you first meet someone, you have introductions. Um, and then the interviewer asks you some general questions and then role specific questions based on whatever you're entering for. And then the last part is leftover time for the person being interviewed to ask questions or raise some concerns about the role. So why we wanted to you know, share this with you today is that we wanted to show you guys you know, though this may be simple, there's a lot of different cons you know, things that go into each part. So we're gonna be hitting on all four of them. So introductions, that really goes to first impressions. We're gonna have an entire lesson on that. And then general questions from the interviewer and role specific questions from the interviewer. So both of those um, go to the content classes that we have. So, you know, this, is, this includes some of the research that you do pre-interview. And then um, during the interview, the personal brand class, you know, coming up with um, kind of like you're basically selling yourself in each interview. So why we wanted to have a class structured around that is to teach you know, the students how to do that and how to identify uh, their strongest points and their quote unquote selling points. And this is super important because when the interviewer asks you both general questions and role specific questions, you know, immediately off the bat, you know, what things that you're providing, um, what benefits that you're giving to the company or the role or uh, whatever it is that you are interviewing for. And then the fourth one, leftover time for interviewee to voice questions, concerns, that kind of ties in with both the uh, pre preparation and also the personal brand. You may have questions from your preparation and you may also have questions. Um, based on your know, personal questions, if you have any concerns about you specifically, you know, any um, accommodations or um, any preferences that you may have. And then of course, we also have one more class on demeanor and that really goes for everything. Um, how you answer questions and how you present yourself is also extremely important throughout the interview. Yeah, do you want to take the slide? Yeah. So interviews are extremely important. You might think, well, I already did the application, like they can look at that. It's just a small part, but it's it's not. It's really important because it is the last round of applications to really determine if you know you are fit for this, if you are, you know, compatible really to meet you and understand who you are, not just like what you say about yourself and for you to present yourself, right? So it is the last round of applications to determine if you receive the offer. Um and most likely, it's the only qualitative part. So what we mean by that is other things they're going to ask about, like, what is your qualifications? What is your experience? Things like that. But this is more about who you are. And this is the only thing telling, showing the employer who you really are. Um, and like I said before, it's used to measure, like, compatibility p between you and whatever you are trying to get into. Um, so they again, are trying to see what kind of person you are and if you would work well with them if, if you're the kind of person they are looking for. Um, and it gives you an opportunity to experience what working for the business and going to college and receiving the offer would be like. So it's, it gives you a chance to see like, what is this organization all about as well. So not only do they learn a lot about you, you can learn a lot about them as well, which is really important. Yeah, and I'd say, and I like just follow up, following up on that interview is so important because this is the first time uh, that you're seeing somebody face to face, like somebody who's a part of the organization or college or whatever, face to face. And that's so important because before they only see you as a bunch of numbers on an application. So you want to really want to make a great impression to build upon that great reputation that you have in the application. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's the end of this one. Um, if you have any questions, here's our contact information. Um, we can both type this again in the chat box in the Zoom chat. So if you guys have any questions now, please feel free to unmute yourself and then let us know what the question is. 
or if you're uncomfortable doing that, feel free to type it in the chat box or message us privately.